Hello beautiful singers, this is Valerie White Williams and Vocal Splendor Studios and today I would like to talk to you about diction and singing R's and L's. Now R's and L's are really tricky to sing with the diction because as I just showed in my video on tongue tension, R's and L's are sung with tongue tension naturally. So when we say an R, we can feel the tongue making this kind of edgy sound. R, it's a little bit tense. And L, L. So R's and L's are troublesome for singers because we have to kind of in, engage the tongue to enunciate it. However, when we're singing, tongue tension is always something to avoid. So the challenge is singing these tense R's and L's without overdoing it and creating tongue tension. Also, I should say, when we're talking about tongue tension regarding the consonants like R's and L's, we are talking about the, not the initial consonant, but the internal consonant or the ending consonant. So any initiating consonant like rake, run, as soon as we say the consonant, we're open up to the vowel. And those aren't a problem. It's when we're closing down on the consonant. We're saying rar, part, world. So those are where that tongue can kind of bunch up and create a bunch of tension and make the sound warbly. So the trick to the R's, there's actually two things that you can do. And I've heard people use both. The simplest one is just to leave the R's off. So instead of saying part, we're going to say part, part, almost like you're British and you're just going to drop the R's. Partner, there's a great word, partner, lots of R's, partner, partner. Now it feels really odd and kind of stuffy to say it that way, but if you sing it that way, you're really not going to hear the dropped R's and your ear will put the R's in. And that way you are not going to have the garble. Second way, and I hear this in some Broadway singers that are trying to sound more authentic with a more um, contemporary sound, they will lightly, just barely tip on the R's. Part, partner, partner. And, but that's a little trickier. You really have to practice to isolate those R's. And so what I would refer you is go back to my tongue tension video and listen to the tongue exercises so you can actually enunciate the R's with a really quick flip of the tongue. So let me demonstrate. I'm going to sing a song that everybody knows, part of your world, from The Little Mermaid, because that is filled with R's. And so the R's, you can drop the R's and you'll hear the difference. You know, Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun. Wish I could be part of your world. So what I'm singing is part of your world, not part of your world. Part of your world. Very gummy. So. What's tough is that we're all taught to enunciate the words correctly when we're little students and reading and we want to say the words right. But those R's are going to get you every time. So think of just dropping them. All right, so R's, one thing. L's are a different story. L's are usually done in the tip of the tongue. La, 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 la. And an L is fine, but what happens is people anticipate the L especially when we're holding out a note, like I'm going to say full, full, oh, so we get this oh thing. We can, remember singing is just spread out speech that's stretched out. And because we stretch things out, we need to isolate the vowel and have a relaxed vowel, which is not how we speak. So I say fulsome, full, I'm going to sing full, full alone, 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 not all, 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 let's all go to the store, all, we want all, and then we're going to flip the tongue, so back to my 
video on tongue tension with the tongue exercises. The more you can practice your tongue going la, 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 the better. Like my name, last name, Williams. Perfect example. Williams. We want Williams. So the L is very short. We just go up and down and we don't anticipate it. So we like Williams. Will you come with me? Will, will, not that. Will. So that's the trick of singing L's. Flick them lightly, very quickly. Do not anticipate. So when I look at my music and I see R's, I usually will sometimes just cross them out in my music and to remind myself to not sing them or just drop them off or sing them very lightly. And with L's, just train yourself to not anticipate the L, but to flick the L gently in the right spot, either in the middle of the, the word or to close it off. Like, um, awful. There's another word. Awful. Awful. Not awful. Awful. Like that. So, it takes some practice, but the more you practice it, the better you get. And then it will become something that you do automatically. And that's what singing is all about, to train so we can be consistent. So when we're under pressure and we're performing, we don't have to go through the checklist of all the things we want to do. We want to train so it's consistent. And that's what vocal training is. It's not to become a trained singer, but it's become consistent like an athlete because we are singing athletes and we want to have a consistency in our performing. And that's what makes you a professional level. You are consistent and you can do it day in, day out and get consistent results. All right, thank you so much. Please comment down below any tips you have to enunciate diction, especially R's and L's. And also, if you like the content, please don't be afraid to click subscribe, click the bell so you can get notified for all this great content so we all can sing better because when we sing better, we feel better. And that's what we all need to do right now is to make the world a better place by feeling happy and expressive and kind. Yes. So please click below. Let me know how things go. I appreciate all the likes and subscribes and I look forward to making more videos for you. Take care and have a wonderful day.